guys, Karibu Internet to yet another amazing episode here at Kanuhi's Kitchen. I had missed you guys so much and I know you too missed me so much but I'd like to first start by saying thank you so much for your patience. As I told you guys, I was in a car accident last year, August. I had a jaw fracture. I now have, bra I now have braces. Ta-da! <laughs> But other than that, I am well right now. I needed some time off to recover, to heal and just to get back to feeling like myself, get back to myself. And now that I'm very much well, I can now talk, I can now bite, I can now eat. And now I'm ready to film with you guys and for you guys. Thank you so much for your patience and thank you so much for being here. Now, I completely understand that omena is one of those things that people either totally really enjoy and for some people they don't quite like it but in my book anything and everything can be super delicious that very much includes omena. There's a recipe I uploaded on my blog I think in around 2016 or 2017. Today we're going to add another one which will be super creamy, super delicious, super luxurious and one that you too will 100% enjoy. Thank you so much for being here and before we start, once again, Karibu Nisana. We're now prepped and ready to go and now before we get into it, I'm going to speak about the stuff for this recipe and that is our omena. Omena is silver cyprinid, however for this video and for all other videos we're going to do in the future, we're just going to call it omena. It's pretty popular in the East African countries and also in majority of the Southern African countries. Preparation varies according to people's taste people's preferences and you know there's no one way of making something and if you can make it a lot more delicious a lot more flavorful a lot more tasty why the hell not open up your mind open up your heart to trying out new things and today's recipe is going to be one of those things you have you must try out <laughs> If you live close to or around the lake regions, you're going to get your omena either fresh or dried. Because we live in the inland part of the country, it's going to get to you most likely in its dried state. Now, when it's dried, people either go straight into frying, but some people also soak it fast so that it releases the oils and also softens a little bit. I prefer to do the soaking before, before now stewing or cooking. It's completely optional and I know some of you will throw a fit, but please relax, burial, burial, relax. I can see you hyperventilating across the screen. The soaking is completely optional. You don't have to do it, but it's something I would recommend you to do. If you prefer not to soak before frying, totally okay. But if it's your first time cooking omena, please do it the kaluhi way, you will not regret it. So for the soaking, we're going to add some hot water, a splash of apple cider vinegar, and then just let our omena soak for about two to three minutes. Our omena is now soaked, softened, and the water that we used to facilitate that has been drained. That means we're ready to go right ahead and cook our omena. This is going to be so delicious and I'm so excited. <laughs> Just to repeat what I had earlier on said, not to see Gombane for comments, you guys. This is an optional step, but it is recommended if you're using omena that is dried. If your omena is fresh, do not soak it. It won't be necessary. However, if your omena is dried, it is not mandatory. However, it's recommended that you soak it before cooking it. Sour. I hope that's clear. Now that that is said, we're going to go right ahead and begin the cooking process. And as you can see, my four ingredients that are going to kickstart this process are already ready. So for this recipe, we're going to start with some red onion, dania stem, celery, and some garlic. All of them have their individual amazing health benefits. You can Google and read up on them, but in general, we're going to get a lot of antioxidants, a lot of um, antibacterial properties that are going to help in maintaining your gut health. They're not only delicious, but super, super amazing for your body. That said, we're going to add all of our ingredients in and let them saute for a couple of minutes until softened and fragrant. 
our kitchen smells amazing and i know i say that in all my videos but guys please <laughs> the saute is going right according to plan everything is now softened perfectly fragrant and now we're going to go with the next set of ingredients and for that i'm going to use my tomato paste followed by my set of spices for which i used coriander powder turmeric chili paste and some smoked paprika i'm going to add a tiny bit of hot water to facilitate the cooking down of the spices and let it simmer for a couple of minutes this now looks nice dark rich and thick as we want it to be and this just it's a telltale sign that at the end of this cooking we're going to have some really really delicious omena the spices I use come kawaida they're available in any well stocked supermarket and as we've said countless times in the past Musio go for spices and in case you have a bit of doubt in your heart guys we are living in the age of information just google turmeric health benefits and read up on it google um, paprika health benefits read up on it learn how it's grown learn where it comes from learn how it benefits your body and stop being scared and i'm speaking to kenyans in particular please guys to watch your mambo's view up here i use chili paste for this recipe however for some heat for your omena you can use any other kind of chili the bad eye chili we have at mamamboga that costs about five shillings totally okay all you have to make sure is you have a bit of heat for your omena so that you have a nice kick when you're eating and enjoying your food now that this is sauteing it has sauteed for about five minutes i'm going to go in with the next set of ingredients and for that i'm going to add in my heavy cream followed by some lime zest I really love this beautiful golden color that comes about when you add cream to anything savory. It's really pretty and then it's going to taste really amazing. The cream I used is heavy cream. You can find it also named as double cream, but it is the exact same thing. You can find it in any world stock supermarket in the dairy section. For this recipe, I also decided to go with lime zest. I love the sunny flavor that lime always has. And for this kind of weather, I feel lime is just perfect because it imparts a nice sunny joyful flavor to anything you cook it with when i say lime zest i'm referring to the grated rind of a lime just take your lime grate it and what you get as a result of that process that is your lime zest that means if you have five bob in your pocket you already have your lime zest you can use either lemon or lime but for this recipe please guys I highly recommend lime. Like, okay, to me, I love on sour, but I recommend that you use lime. Now that this has sufficiently simmered down, we're now going to get our omena, add it in, mix it in, and then allow it to simmer for about five minutes, and then we'll be done. Okay guys, we are now done and you have seen for yourself it's so easy to make delicious omena and as we have said at the beginning of this video anything and everything can be delicious if you just put in the effort if you just go a tiny bit beyond what you're used to guys you're going to eat delicious food and you deserve to eat delicious food each time round this looks amazing and Kama Kaweda we have to give it a taste test mm. Some ugali, some boga kienyeji. This is a mix, by the way. I'm going to put the exact mixture my mom made. And some omena. Oosh! Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is so good. Absolutely perfect. You can taste the zestiness of the lime. The heat of the chili kicks your throat and it's much welcome. The creaminess of the omena goes so well with the creaminess of my mboga. Guys, and the ugali really ties everything together. Let me take another bite. <laughs> Guys, in a shika kushika. Guys. Mmm. 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 <laughs> this is a recipe you have to try out. Don't forget, Kamakoile exact recipe quantities are on my blog. 
link on the description box together with this recipe i'm going to link down below the omena recipe i did in 2016 this one is really rich really really creamy um, very boisterous in flavor and the one I did in 2016 still equally as delicious but that one is a bit drier so whichever way you go whether you go dry whether you go creamy both recipes really deliver in terms of flavor I hope you enjoyed this video please do share it in all your whatsapp groups with every family member you have and once you try this out snap a pic tag me on any social media platform I would love to show you off if you have subscribed Thank you so much. I love having you here. And if you're yes to, please do. It's totally free. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. See you on my next video, guys. Bye. Online, you can boga for me now.